Hey everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this super awesome alien crossing, alien Xing, whatever you want to call it, sign with this super awesome trippy design, this way of coloring it. I don't really know what to call it, but it's this pattern or technique, I guess. But without further ado, let's just get right into this super awesome trippy video. So the very first thing I did was actually draw the sign and I never filmed myself drawing just because I erase so much and I just think it looks kind of obnoxious and I try to describe it and it just, it turns out to be a mess. So just, just draw yourself an alien Xing sign and then come back to this part of the video, I guess. But the very first thing I'm doing is just using this silver Prismacolor colored pencil to color in the sign. Usually these signs in real life, you know, would be yellowish and then have silver for the outer line, I guess. I don't know how to, I don't know what it's called, but usually it's silver and the yellowish color or sometimes there's black on there as well. I guess it just depends what type of sign it is. You know, it has the silver to be reflective, but because this is kind of like this super trippy, not really really realistic at all type drawing, I decided to make the sign itself be silver. I feel like it gives it this kind of alien look, futuristic type look, and I just thought it would be cool. So <laughs> just go ahead and color that background silver. Now we are on to my favorite part, the part that makes this drawing look so awesome. I honestly don't even know how to describe or explain how to do this, but you know, there's quite a lot of footage here of me just doing this. So you can watch it, get some ideas, see what I am doing. And then of course you can do your own spin on this or even just do the same exact designs, I guess, as I'm doing. With this, you can do all kinds of super cool and creative things to really make it your own. But the gist of it is that I took some really bright colors and I just drew strange shapes. I would draw circles and then put a different color in the middle. I just did all kinds of different things and I think it looks super awesome like this. Of course, just with this little line here, there isn't really a whole lot you can do, but it is pretty nice to just be able to not have to come up with a whole lot of stuff. You just have to come up with a few different lines and a few different super basic shapes for this part. And this is a really good warm up before you actually get on to coloring the words and the alien itself because then you have to be a bit more creative there. But I honestly really love this design. I don't know how I came up with it. I've never really seen anything like this before, but I think it looks super awesome. Also, before you guys ask me what colors I used, I have absolutely no clue. I never look at the names on the colors or anything. I just use them. And if you ask me the colors, I'm just like green, even though Prismacolor probably has like, you know, 12 different 
shades of green. They probably have more than that, honestly. So yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know the colors and I don't really wanna go through and type all of them out because that would be a lot. But basically just use bright colors. Any bright colors will work. You don't even have to use bright colors, just use whatever colors you like. I know on some of my other videos, people always ask what colors I use, like the very specific colors. And it's, I just, I don't know. Um, it, it's mostly with my demonic looking pinto bean because it has the rainbow background and so people are always wondering the exact colors that I use so they know what colors they can use to do the trippy light thing and I just don't know how to explain to people that it doesn't matter at all what the actual color is as long as the colors are different enough to where they look different under the LED lights because basically every color like pencil color marker paint whatever you use looks different if it's a different enough shade from the other colors you're using they all look different under the different colors of lights so then when you have your lights on a super quick pattern you'll be seeing all these different colors showing up i guess like the colors just change you know and so i just don't know how to explain to people that it doesn't matter the exact color it doesn't matter if you use like grass green and clementine orange it doesn't matter the exact color as long as the colors you use are different enough then they will they will change and look different under the led lights although with that i did put in the comments the exact colors of that so yeah, there's that, but that was only six colors, so that was really easy to figure out, whereas I used a whole bunch of different colors for this. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> And the next thing I'm coloring in is the screws at the top and the bottom of the sign. These are just the screws that hold the sign onto the stake that's in the ground or the pole, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, just remember to color these in. And honestly, I don't really like how they turned out, but oh well. And now let's just get right on to coloring in the letters. I just did the same thing that I did to color the outer line on the sign, I guess. And again, I don't really know how, exactly how to describe what I did. I basically just colored little blobs or lines or big weirdly shaped spots, I guess. I really, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I don't really know. I guess I just, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I assume that you guys will come up with some really awesome ideas. Hopefully this will inspire you guys a lot. You can, you know, watch this and see all these different things that I did and then come up with your own different ideas to use this technique, this design, this pattern. But yeah, basically just color in the letters now and make sure to use a lot of different colors in each letter and a bunch of different squiggly designs and stuff to make them look super awesome. And now we're finally onto my favorite part. 
actually coloring in the alien. So for this part, I just did pretty similar things to what I did for the line and the letters, but I was able to be a bit more creative and add some more open spaces and some more lines and everything because I had so much more space to work with. And I'm not even, I'm not even going to attempt to describe what I'm doing because again, I still don't really know how to describe it other than to just tell you what you're looking at basically. Uh, so I'd recommend just getting some inspiration from this, seeing the basic design and patterns and techniques that I used, and then coming up with your own designs, patterns, and techniques inspired by this. You can do the same ones, of course. You know, if you can't figure out really what you want to do, so you just want to do what I'm doing so you can get warmed up and kind of figure out what you're doing and then try out your own ideas and everything, that would definitely work very well just to get you warmed up and used to making these different patterns and everything. And now we are finally done with this piece. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of it. Also, tell me what different things you think would look really awesome with this pattern. I'm thinking maybe doing a lava lamp with this type of design or pattern or whatever you'd like to call it on there. I think that would be super awesome. But other than that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.